guys, Beck Beck here, and in this video, I'm going to be telling you guys a story about the first time I got suspended. Now, don't interpret that in a way that I've been suspended another time as well, because I said the first time I got suspended, but I'm just saying that because, I don't know, it just sounds better, but I've never actually been suspended any time after this incident so far and hopefully it'll stay like that and I won't get suspended ever again from school. So yeah, let's get straight into the story. So this all started in sixth grade. I was at a school that was pretty bad, you know, there's there's other schools that are a lot worse, but this school was pretty bad. Like there was people who would just slap box all day long in all the periods. Like even if they'll be in the back of the classroom to go get like a drink from like the little water fountain in the corner and the teacher wouldn't be able to see you. So they would just slap box in the corner and I got into that and because I was into boxing at the time. I was able to like beat most of the people who were slap boxing. So because of that, I got into slap boxing and I kind of liked slap boxing. But I advise you not to do this because it is very stupid and it'll get you in trouble like it did with me. So I was pretty bad at the time. So that's why I even like followed up with all this stuff like slap boxing and all that. And me and my friend Herschel, we decided to go up to this guy that everybody in school hates. Like everybody hates him. He acts like a dude. She'll just go up to somebody and slap them and then try to run away like thinking it's funny Like it's not cool. You just slap somebody out of nowhere and I never did that even though I was pretty bad at the time I never did that and so we decided why not slap him for all the times he slapped other people So we came up behind him and we slapped him at the same time because we were on the computers And he was just at one of the computers at the desk and he wasn't paying attention and the teacher wasn't paying attention either And when we slapped him, I slapped him definitely harder on on I believe it was left his left cheek and I think I used my left hand or something even though I'm right-handed and he covered his face with his hands and he just basically got really mad and left the classroom and we were just laughing like good job good job we just destroyed a douchebag here and he ended up coming back with the principal and at that moment, we knew we were screwed, that we were probably going to get suspended because when he came back with the principal, the principal told us to go to the office straight away. And so me and my friend Herschel, we went to the office, we got our backpacks and everything, and we sat in the office for about 30 minutes. And then Mr. Okay, I'm not even going to say his name, but the principal, he basically was telling us that he's in the nurse's office and he has a welt on his face on the left cheek or whatever cheek it was. I think it was the left or right. It was the one that I slapped. I'm not too sure exactly, but pretty sure it's the left one. I, I don't know, who cares? But that cheek that I slapped, I slapped him a lot harder than what my friend did and he got a welt. And I don't know if you guys understand this, but a welt is basically like a really bad bruise, I guess. And you usually get welts in like paintballing. So if you've ever like felt gotten shot by a paintball, me, I personally know um, through experience because I've gone paintballing before, but it's very, it's pretty painful at first and it gives you these dark bruises. They're just really bad, honestly, but they just go away. But he had it straight on his face. It was a handprint and his cheek was purple. It was so bad. And basically what the principal told us was that we need to go call our parents because we are getting suspended. And at that moment, my friend, he started tearing up. I was just sitting there like an MLG boss. Like seriously, I I'm not trying to brag or anything, but I literally didn't care that much just because that guy was a douche and I, I started to feel kind of sad for my friend because I kind of dragged him into the situation he really didn't deserve to get suspended so we ended up calling our moms he called his mom first and I called my mom and it was just silent and he was listening he was you know kind of going like <sighs> like you know when people cry like that you know he was just doing that and I was just calling my mom and I was kind of like kind of tearing up a little bit you know not really but our parents came in after we called him like 20 minutes later and my mom was just she was just disappointed in me because I just got suspended like I've never been suspended before and now it's just on my permanent record it's not gonna go away she just basically grounded me for like three months I couldn't do anything for like three months but after that it was all good everything was back to normal and that was about it so that's about it for this story make sure to comment rate and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one peace